grader, it's we are officially on the final writing of our fairy tale. So this means that we need to go back and we need to get all of the pre-writing sheets that we did. So all of those homeworks, that homework sheets of paper that you wrote about your good character, you wrote about your evil character, your magical character, the setting, what the problem was, all of those pre-writing papers that you have, it's probably going to be really good to have it right next to you. For homework tonight, you are going to find this piece of paper in your packet. There is also going to be a piece of paper that looks like this. So same little flowers on the outline, just some extra lines. And that is just if you need some extra lines for your writing. I think most of us might need some extra room, so that's why that piece of paper is there for you. You are going to start putting all of your sentences in order and put them together for your final fairy tale writing. So we know that we need to start with the introduction. And a lot of us started it with either Once Upon a Time, I saw some Once Upon a Tuesdays, Once Upon a Very, Very Hot Summer Day. All of those is how we introduce our fairy tale. So that sentence that you wrote, you are just gonna move it onto here. And you are going to put all of your sentences together in order. So that means we had introducing our good character, we talked about our setting, we talked about our evil character, then we discussed our problem, then we said our magical character, and then we had our conclusion. That is the order it should go in because that's gonna be how your story flows all together. If you wanna add more detail in your story, that's totally okay. If you wanna include a sentence about your princess's friend that's with her the whole way, that's okay. If you wanna include more detail about the castle or the village where you're at, that is okay. Just make sure that those sentences or details fit nicely in your story. We want everything to make sense. Again, when you are writing your fairy tale, please make sure to have all your capital letters, your end marks, your finger spaces, because this is your final fairy tale. And these will be so exciting to read to your parents, to your other scholars, and to anybody that you want to read your fairy tale to. You have a nice space right there to draw a picture that's going to match your fairy tale. So try to draw a nice picture that fills up that space. When we think about fairy tales and we or any book that we have, the front cover of our book is often something that ties into our book. Either it has a character on there, it has two friends on there, it has the setting on there. You wanna draw a picture that's gonna tie into your fairy tale. There is not much room for your name, so if you just include it maybe at the bottom here, maybe at the top, just so we have your name, because you are the author and the illustrator, please do that. I cannot wait to see your final fairy tales.